Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is part 13, I believe, of the Sims 3 Generation Challenge. Miss Sage is eating some pancakes. Jasper's back there taking care of Saffron. Let me see real quick. He's, okay, feed him in the high chair. Okay, so, um... <laughs> It's Tuesday morning. It's spooky day. They both have the day off. I actually am going to Sage. Oh my God. I'm going to send Sage to work today for a little bit. Technically, she should. I mean, she would go back today, but because it's a holiday. Um, but again, spooky day is not really the kind of holiday you'd have off. And I feel like as a doctor, you know, she's in the medical career. She would have to work a lot of holidays anyways. So I am going to send her to work today. But... She's got a little something, something going on. Um, she is nauseous from unknown causes. I completely forgot that we risky woohooed at the very end of the last part. And she's pregnant. This literally throws off, like, everything I wanted to do. Like, it throws off so much. So the... <laughs> oh my god. She's fucking pregnant. I cannot. I literally cannot deal with this right now. <sighs> The one good thing about this <laughs> is that this baby will be born either the day or the night before we move into our new house. My plan is to move into the new house on Thursday, and this baby will be born um, sometime on Thursday, actually. So this baby will be born... Um, wow. This baby will be born once they're in the new house, so that's one plus. But yeah, she's fucking pregnant. She just doesn't know it yet. And it actually does freaking suck because I had so much planned for them and it did not involve them having another baby right now. Um, one thing about this though, I mean, first of all, that's a pretty quick pregnancy. I mean, she's saffron and this next baby are going to be toddlers for one day at the same time. Um, so that's wild to me. Oh my god, I can't believe I should not have done that risky woohoo. I should not. Oh my god, I'm so upset with myself. I'm so freaking upset with myself. I. <sighs> oh my god. Anyways, um, Sage is gonna go take a shower, and then her and Jasper are going to carve pumpkins together. And then she's going to go to work for a little bit, and Jasper is going to just kind of hang out with Saf today while she's at work. Um, maybe they'll head off to the park, look for some flowers, stuff like that. Oh my god, I cannot believe she's freaking pregnant. I'm actually so mad at myself. Like, actually so freaking mad at myself. Oh my god. Actually, I don't know why I even told you to come down here, because you're going to have to go puke anyways, so I might as well keep you in the bathroom. She's freaking pregnant, you guys. I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. So basically, this just means that their kids are going to be a little bit earlier than I planned. So initially, I planned on them trying for a baby the day they got married, so like a honeymoon baby, and then trying for baby number three, um, like pretty much immediately after the baby was born. So baby number two and three, we're going to be like back to back. We're still going to do that, but I think baby number three will just be the honeymoon baby, and then baby number two will be the pre-wedding baby. Um, but we're going to carve a jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to have him carve an evil one, and actually, no, 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 switch that around. He's going to carve a cat, and she's going to carve evil. I feel like that fits them so much better. And he's going to go play with... No, I wanted you guys to sit next to each other and do it. No, no, no. Get over here. Hold on, I'm moving that outside. You guys are sitting next to each other while you do this. That was the whole point. Okay. Continue carving. And then we're going to go make out with Sage so I can get that wish taken care of. She does still want to have a bachelorette party, so we will definitely do that. Um, it's just, you know, she'll be pregnant. Dude. Oh my god, you piss me off. 
continue carving and then you're gonna make out with her sage I need you to stop because you guys are supposed to carve this together and you're literally gonna be done by the time he starts yeah okay oh my god we don't okay no we don't have the fertility treatment she's nauseous again <laughs> um that concerns me a little I mean I don't know how realistic this is but I do wonder sometimes if like the more quickly they get nauseous like if that means they're having multiples because sometimes my sims only get nauseous once and sometimes my sims like the second they throw up oh no, no do not invite her over because you're actually about to leave um the second they throw up they are like nauseous again so i don't know like so far that hasn't proved true but i still get nervous about it um yolanda invited us to a party but i don't think we're gonna go it's just we don't even we don't really know Yolanda and I just no I don't think we're gonna go and I think Sage is gonna work just like a short shift today I'll probably send her in after they finish these little interactions I'll probably send her in and then oh sorry Kinsley I did not mean to invite you over like terribly sorry terribly terribly sorry um we can invite her inside though. We'll be nice. All right, let's put this one right here. Don't go inside though. Come here. And we'll put this one right here. Cute. We got our little kitty and our evil one. That's freaking adorable. Okay. So I am going to go through Enros and. Tell her to go to work. It says she's going to work till 10 p.m., but I will probably have her get off at, like, mm, I'll probably have her get off at, like, 4 or 5. I don't think, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have her work a super long day. All right, I'm going to go fill the food bowl, take a shower. And then we're going to start teaching Saf how to walk. I usually always do walking first just because um, stereotypically, you know, like your kids typically learn how to walk properly before they learn how to talk properly. So we're going to do that. We're going to attack him with the claw and then teach him how to walk. Oh my God. She reverted <laughs> back to her old look for work. That's funny. Um... Why don't you come grab something to eat? You'll scratch. You'll use the bathroom. You don't really need to do any of that stuff, but we're going to do it anyways. And yeah. Oh my God. I cannot believe Sage is going to... She's fucking pregnant again. Oh my God. This is actually awful. Like actually awful. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset. Does she have any... They need to take a romantic photo together again in their new looks because they're freaking hot. Okay, they're so hot in their new looks. I need a photo. And I would like to have, you know, photos like this of them at a bunch of different stages. You know, like young adults, married, adults, elders, you know, stuff like that. I think that'd be super, super cute. Um, Jasper has paid his 174 simoleons for personal time off. Um, like I said, I'm just going to have her work probably until... I just got pumpkin seeds. You know what? Maybe we can start a little pumpkin patch. Ooh, you know what else we need to do? We need to light these. Maybe we can start a pumpkin patch in our new house. I think that would be super adorable. I love how Kinsley's just here chilling. She's like, oh, you didn't mean to invite me over? That's fine. I'll come clean your sink and stuff. I'll be super, super nice. Uh, but he's going to just keep going until Saf either learns to walk or he's, his bladder gets really low. And I think I'm actually going to have Sage... Oh, no, never mind. I remember what I'm going to do. She's coming home after work. I'm going to have her get off at 4. I cannot believe. <laughs> I cannot believe she's pregnant again. I might actually cry. Ugh. This threw off so much. But also, like, it kind of works because this is Generations. So I should have, you know... I should have kids pretty young and they are they're not like super young but they are kind of getting up there as far as um just starting a family you know halfway through their young adult life 
If you have a child as an adult, you will be an elder by the time they're a teenager. You know what I mean? So I would much rather them just have kids early. Oh, you need to get off work. Get off work. Come on home. That improved your performance a little bit, so that's good. She'll actually be officially going back Wednesday through Friday. Well, actually, she would if she wasn't getting pregnant, <laughs> but she is freaking getting pregnant. Oh, my God. I can't even. I can't even. All right, she's on her way home, and we are going to come home. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to come home with a surprise for Jasper or kind of come home with a surprise for him. And I'm actually going to have him stop because he is getting a little hungry himself. We don't really need to cook, though. We have plenty of food. So I think I'll just have him and Sage have a nice dinner together. Girl, get inside. What is you doing? And we're going to go ahead and adopt another kitten. And I think we have enough money. We're going to get our... Um, phone repaired and then we're gonna follow up with some patients just because you know sage is always working always always working and then we'll go ahead and grab some mac and cheese jasper will probably be ready to eat around the same time as well okay so we want a cat i would prefer a kitten but i will take an adult if we don't have an option our only kitten is mojo okay we're getting mojo we're getting Mojo. I was about to say, like, I'll take Benjamin because he's an all-black cat. No, we're getting Mojo. Proud and clueless. I love that. And we're going to name him, let's see, we have Forrest. We're going to name him Gump. Forrest Gump. Forrest and Gump. Oh, my God, that's adorable. So Sage is getting him, this is like her engagement gift to him. She's like, you know, you bought me this really nice engagement ring and I want to do something really nice for you. So she is like, you know, I'm going to get you another cat because I know how much you love animals. He is an animal lover, not just a cat person. But um, in a house like this, I think getting cats is much better than getting dogs. So we're going to ignore this call. And I'm going to put both of these in Sage's inventory. Is this dirty? No, okay. Oh, girl. Give him food. And you're going to have some grilled cheese. Sage, you'll go ahead and clean up a little bit. This house is starting to get kind of dirty. Oh, that sinks. Oh, that's right. Kinsley, um, Kinsley washed the sink for us. What a queen. We love her so much. And honestly, Saf was really close to learning how to walk, so I'm going to have Sage actually finish teaching him. She wants to teach him how to talk, of course. I'm going to get rid of go on a date. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, your kids come first. I'm so sorry. Okay, and um, Gump should be here soon. Sage is on call today. Gump is here. Gump is here. Gump is here. Gump is here. I'm so excited. All right, we're going to go continue teaching him how to walk. Um, and we won't really need to potty train him or anything. I'm going to teleport Gump into the house just because, you know, with all these glitches over here, I don't want to I don't want to risk him like getting stuck or it taking like an hour or something. So, let's let Oh my god, Gump is so freaking cute. Oh my god. I need to change his last name to um, Hobson. Um, basic rename Gump Hobson. Until they're married, everyone will get like the babies and kittens and whatever. Okay, girl, you gotta move. I love you. Sorry, that was my phone. I love you so much, Kinsley, but you gotta move because I need to get my son. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let him sniff our hand. We're going to talk to him a couple times and then feed him a treat. I don't want to go too hard because they will get, you know, annoyed of you. Oh my gosh. They will get annoyed of you if you do the same thing too many times. So then let's go pet Forest, talk to him, feed him a treat, and then brush him. And then we're going to get this house freaking clean. We're going to unclog. Oh, my God. Kinsley must have cleaned our house. Go freaking Kinsley. We love her. We freaking love her. 
All right, I'm changing this weather just because they do not need to be out here in the rain doing this. Like, absolutely not. Okay, so he should learn before he's tired enough to go to bed, but that is what Sage is going to spend the rest of the night doing. It really bothers me that she has her old look again. Like, did something happen and your look didn't stick or what? No, okay, so why? Whatever. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Oh, little gump. Little gumpy goo. Why don't you come over here and just kind of get to know Forrest? That's your big brother. His gumpy goo. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Go, Snip Kinsley, leave me alone. Go home. Don't you have a baby to go to or something? Like, you literally have a child. Go home. Go home. Gump and Forrest need to get to know each other. Forrest needs to teach Gump all about, you know, playing with toys and catching critters. Actually, speaking of which, he's got so many things. Um, a mini python and an a gamma lizard. We're just going to sell both of those. Eventually, I do want to get... Um, I do want to get, like the animals in cages you know like the terrains or whatever but just not in this house especially with another baby on the way you know baby number two is gonna be here on thursday roughly either really late thursday or like really early morning friday is when baby number two is gonna be here so i definitely what are you doing talk about cats boy stop unclog this toilet you did not do a thing I told you. Unclog the toilet and then use it. And then wash your hands. He probably only washed his hands. I swear to God. Alright, Saf is actually tired. How close is he? He is not close enough that I'm going to keep him up. So I'm going to put Saf in his crib. And then I'm going to have the two of them... Oh, excuse me. I'm actually going to have the two of them play chess a little bit before they go to bed. They're both kind of tired, and they do actually both go back to work tomorrow. So, Saf will be with a babysitter, which kind of sucks. Actually, no. Sage is not going to go back to work because she is going to find out she's pregnant probably in the middle of the night. So, she will not have to go back to work. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, Kinsley's sleeping. I was like, why are all the lights off? And I'm just going to teleport Gump upstairs just because that is where all of the cat stuff is. And let's actually not have you sleep. Let's have you like, oh, hello? Stop that. Use the bathroom, scratch. Gump is going to eat and then sleep and then you will scratch and then sleep. Okay. Put Saf there. She's going to find out she's pregnant so soon. She needs to find out, like, ASAP. All right, we are going to play chess with Sage. Oh, he wants to pick up his kid, become friends with Gump, read a pregnancy book. I think maybe she'll... Oh, no, that's a... Okay, I see. Oh, she's finding out right now. Oh, good God. Get up, get up, get up. She is like, you're fucking joking. She's like, God, why did you do this? Girl, hurry up and find out. Oh my God. Next four work days off is maternity leave. So she doesn't go back to work until next Tuesday. Jeez Louise. All right, so she's going to go tell him that she's pregnant. She's going to be like, oh my God. Like, I know we didn't, we wanted to wait till we were married to have another, but we must have not been careful enough last you know when we got engaged and you know i'm pregnant again and he's like no like this is great like i love that i caught his little thumbs up oh my god can you imagine you tell your fiance you're pregnant and he gives you a thumbs up i would kill him <laughs> oh my gosh all right so we're gonna feel her tummy and listen to her tummy and talk to her tummy and then give her um, I guess give her, yeah, give her an Amoris hug, and then they're just going straight to bed. Neither of them have the energy for a woohoo tonight. 
And, you know, I think this is making Jasper really think about his career. You know, he's like, I really want to be able to spend more time with my kids. And especially with Sage being so work focused, like I actually think I just thought about this. I'm actually going to send Sage to work both Wednesday. Let me see what I have planned. I'm going to send Sage to work on Thursday. I will let her have Wednesday off, but I'm going to make her go probably Thursday and Friday because the baby's going to be born really, really late Friday. So I think Jasper is kind of in the mindset of like, you know, Sage is very focused on her career and I really want to be here for my children. You know, he's really rethinking his job now that she has, you know, they have another baby on the way. So... Let me see how long this part was, because I feel like it's been 30 seconds. Oh no, it's been 20 minutes. Okay, that's fine. That's like on the shorter end for my videos, but honestly, that's fine. I'm trying, I'm kind of trying to cut my videos down to like 20 to 25 instead of like 30 to 40. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. God, that was freaking wild. Um, in the next part, we are going to throw a bachelorette party for Sage. I think, you know, in her mind, she's like, well, we're not getting married quite yet, but I don't want to be uncomfortably pregnant when I'm trying to celebrate my bachelorette party. So we're going to have a bachelorette party in the next part. Jasper is going to, he's going to go to work tomorrow, but after work, I think he's going to quit and we're going to get him in the daycare career because he wants a job that he can stay home and take care of his two babies while he's working. And also, with, the, with having the male in the daycare career, we won't have so much time off, off work that we're barely ever working. So we'll actually get to explore it. Because a lot of the times, I did a Generations in the past, and... Um, my like the mom had five babies she had time off for her wedding like all of that stuff so she barely ever worked and i think we got literally to level two by the time she was an elder and retired so yeah that's the plan we're gonna have a bachelorette party in the next part i'm super excited i am gonna have um i'm gonna give sage the camera and i'm gonna have her record the party i think that'll be super fun and you know we're really really close with kinsley so she'll be able to like make a toast for us we don't have a lot of other close friends, but we at least have two close female friends, and honestly, that's really all we need. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Also, give me baby name suggestions. I think I want to find out the gender of this baby. I Did we... Did we do that for Saf? We did. We did do that for Saf. So I think with this baby, I want to find out the gender and have the baby at the hospital. But with the next one, I want it to be a surprise gender and a home birth. I just don't feel like a home birth in this house is a really good idea. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye guys.